Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome to the first vlog of my channel for 2021. <music> I'm in the middle of filming for a video that's gonna come out this Sunday. Today, it is Friday. I'm done with classes. I'm done with work. And so I'm filming a workout clothes haul video for you guys. And I think I wanna do a vlog. I'm in the middle of doing laundry right now because a lot of the clothes that I hauled, like sometimes with the try on haul, I haven't tried the clothes on before like I'm giving you my review as I try them on but with these workout clothes I really wanted to do my research on like my favorite workout clothes that I own and kind of like buy and return and figure out like the best pieces that I could offer you guys so I have to do laundry and get them out of the laundry I just have a, I have a huge pile right here hold on there's like a huge pile that I need to fold um Right now I have you guys on my tripod just because I was in the middle of filming the video and then I had to stop for a laundry break. So I just put you guys back up here. But yeah, so I need to fold. I need to finish filming. Um, yesterday was my birthday, I turned 27. Mm -hmm. So I'm not celebrating until this Saturday, so tomorrow. Yeah, right now I'm gonna fold. I already filmed two looks. I have to film the third but the third look is currently in the laundry and it's probably getting wrinkly so I need to go fold that all right laundry's done I have my second outfit for my workout video I think I'm going to finish filming that so I need to film like the full outfit shots and then I film the sit down portion separately where I talk about the pieces and like my overall thoughts on everything. So I'm gonna do that. Hey guys, I finished filming my video. Um, it went pretty well. I felt like it was so quick and I don't feel like I said everything I wanted to say about the clothing. I just get, I think I get like nervous before I film or something, I don't even know. But I just sat down to eat some lunch so I figured I would show you. Come on in, hold on. So this right here, is ground chicken, that is one dumpling, some green beans, that is one vegetable pouch from Trader Joe's, and there's a little bit of brown rice at the bottom, and I have like soy sauce, and I forgot to put my green onions on top, but it's just a little meal prep that I made. I'm trying to eat healthier, especially because it's my birthday time, so I tend to have some birthday treats. So I'm making sure I have a really good, filling, healthy lunch. That way on Saturday, when I go eat at Morimoto, I can have what I want. All right, guys, I'm gonna eat some lunch. And then I think I'm gonna start editing. If I get editing done today, I don't have to worry about anything Saturday except just filming some more for you guys. So I'm gonna edit. I'm gonna take a break first. I'm gonna watch some YouTube videos, eat my lunch, and then I'm gonna edit and I'll catch up with you guys later. Good morning, guys. It is Saturday. I just woke up. I was having some tummy issues last night so I was waking up at like 3 to 4 o'clock and I was not doing so hot so it's like basically like 11 o'clock right now yeah it's 11 30 and I woke up a little bit ago I got some coffee mm. so delicious but I just ordered some food on DoorDash because I went around to look at some brunch places and everybody was blown out so yeah ordered some food I think I'm gonna put in an order at Whole Foods for my meal prep food because I think I want a meal prep tomorrow yeah last week I did I just I think I already showed you the meal prep I did with the chicken and the rice and the green beans and then I had another one which was like yellow potatoes roasted with some pulled chicken and green beans still I'm like bad with veggies. I, I'm not a huge fan, but I try to get them in with every meal. So it ends up being just like green beans. <laughs> I know I need to diversify, but all right, I'll show you guys what I end up getting. Or I can just do a grocery haul tomorrow. That might be fun and fresh. For some reason, I love, like freaking love watching those stay-at-home moms do grocery haul videos for their like six children. I have, like I, I'm a 27 year old lady with no children, just a puppy, 
and a boyfriend trying to get a college degree. Six kids are not in my future. <laughs> I don't know why I love watching those YouTubers so much. My hair is just delightful. This is like insane bedhead. Yeah, so tonight is Disney Springs night. I'm so excited. We're going to go to Morimoto for dinner. So yeah, I'm just gonna get some things done around the house and then I'll show you guys when I get ready for Morimoto. I did get something done that is super exciting. Let me show you. I made my happy birthday streamers. How cute. Nobody's ever done one of these like streamer things for me before. So I wanted to just do it for myself because it's super cute. Yeah, so that was a lot of work. I doubled up the streamers that I use in the background, the silver ones, just to make sure it was a little bit more opaque so you didn't just see the wall behind it. So hopefully I can turn out a good picture with that and put it on my Instagram. I'll put it here if I do. Next time you see me, I'll be getting ready for my birthday. ignore my messy desk I was just getting ready for my birthday so here is the outfit I'm gonna have a blog post with all the details for the outfit but I got the top from Nordstrom's and these from Torrid and I will show you the rest in the blog post but yeah here's the makeup too sorry it's dark I should have put my ring light on but yeah ready to go to Disney good morning everybody it is now Sunday I had the best time last night. It was so fun. I ended up not filming anything. Um, when we got to Disney Springs, it was so crowded, like insanely crowded. And so I like didn't even think about taking out my camera and vlogging. We got there at like six o'clock and um, maybe like 6.30. And then we met up with my boyfriend's sister and her boyfriend. And I took some pictures for my blog really fast of like my birthday outfit just because I wanted, I really love that outfit. It was so cute. So I wanted to show it on the blog. And um, then we just like shopped around. I went to like Free People Anthropology. I got a Sephora order, which I'm going to show you guys in a second. Um, everything I bought for my birthday from Sephora. So I'll show you guys that. And then... Um, we just walked around, we went to the Free People and Anthropology, and I was trying to find an outfit for when we go to Disney next week. Um, I wanted just like a really cute outfit to wear that's comfy. I feel like whenever I go to Disney, I try to wear something like cute but comfortable. <laughs> I don't know why I'm like that. I just like to dress cute there. I just think it's so fun and I just like the whole experience. And so after shopping, we met up with the rest of Nick's family. Literally everybody in his family came out to my dinner, which was so sweet. Um, and they all live a little bit far away, so I couldn't believe that everybody showed up. It was so nice. And we went to Morimoto Asia. It's owned by that Iron Chef, which I think is so cool. And inside is so beautiful. I was so mad at myself for not, um, taking video, but you can just Google a picture of the inside. It's so pretty. There's these, like, huge chandeliers, and it's really nice. And so I got orange chicken and some brown rice. And I got these chicken dumplings for my appetizer and a couple Moscow mules. It was just so nice. And then our reservations were at like 7.45 because that was the earliest I could get in. So by the time we were done with dinner, since we were a group of um, 12, we all um, wanted dessert. So we went around and everything was kind of closed. And we were kind of tired because we had been there since like 6. And so then we went back to Nick's mom's house and we just kind of hung out for a little bit. And it was so fun. So I didn't get my birthday dessert yet. I'm probably gonna wait to do that in Disney. Just pace out a little bit because I had like this fried orange chicken thing for dinner, but it was so good. So yeah, I have that Sephora haul for you though. That'll show you soon, but I ended up not even um, doing my Whole Foods order for today and it's Sunday and I really need a meal prep. So I'm gonna do my Whole Foods order right now because it'll come I think in the next two hours. So I'm gonna do that, figure out what I'm going to have for meal preps this week 
And then I'll show you what I get from Whole Foods as well. I love grocery hauls. They're just so fun. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, so for the grocery haul, I got a thing of organic Granny Smith apples because I love those for a snack. And then I got some two green bell peppers for meal preps, some kiwi for a snack. Um, this is an avocado just for like a breakfast one morning, a pomegranate for a snack, bananas for a snack, um, pineapple for a snack, baby carrots for a snack, and for um, our golden retriever buddy to give him a little treat. I get strawberries and, and um, blackberries for a snack. This is ground chicken. And then over here, this is chicken breast for meal preps. Pineapple, I don't know if I said that. And then I get this organic lactose-free um, milk for, I have this vitamin D drink that I need to have because my PCOS, so I get this milk because it doesn't hurt my tummy. And then I get these dips, that I'm roasted garlic dip because I like to put like one of these um, like sauce, I use it as like a sauce in the crock pot for chicken and it makes like a really good um, like pulled chicken. So I got that and then up here is just like my brown rice meal prep things I got going on. I also got some sparkling water because I drink this weekly and I love it and it's like cheaper than buying like a Publix brand or whatever. And I got these for Nick. It's like a healthier like M&M in case he gets like a sweet tooth or something and I don't like him eating like regular M&Ms. And then I got some cashews because I love those for a snack. And I got these Emmys, um, chocolate covered coconut cookies. They were on sale at Whole Foods right now so like now's the time to get them. They're like perfect if you're like craving like a Reese's peanut butter cup or like a dessert but you don't want all the calories and you don't want all like the bad ingredients. So I get those and garlic powder. And then I get these drinks for Nick because he like thrives on having like a variety of stuff. I can eat the same thing over and over and be fine and drink the same thing, but I got them those as like an alternative to water. And I got this no soy teriyaki for when I am making my um, meal prep for today. And then I stocked back up on organic cut green beans because they're like super cheap and if I ever just need to like force feed myself a vegetable I can just grab one of these makes life easy I got this for myself these are normally like super expensive but um again it was on sale at Whole Foods so I picked one up just for like a little treat this is for Nick's meal prep because he's gonna have like taco bowls this is literally the best salt and you need it in your life it's the Maldon sea salt flakes I love it it's the best finishing salt that there is and then I got some organic reduced sodium um, soy sauce. And then I get this like sugar-free jam. Um, I don't eat like peanut, butters, peanut butter and jellies right now or anything, but I like this if I'm doing like a recipe. There's like these peanut butter and jelly bars that you, they use um, like almond flour. And I make that if I'm gonna make a dessert and these are normally super expensive and it was on sale. So I don't have the have plants to make that like right now, but I wanted this for when I do because better to pick it up when it's on sale. And then I got these vegetable pop stickers because I like to put them in like my meal preps for something different. So I'll have like that brown rice and then ground chicken, green beans. And then I'll just take two of these and put it in there just because it's like super fun and they don't come like cooked or anything. So I just kind of just throw them in there, frozen, and like heat them up when I make my food. I got this organic fire roast, fire roasted corn. And this is for Nick's meal preps because he needs some variety too. And then some more green beans. Uh, they're delicious and I eat so much of them. But yeah, that is what I got for my Whole Foods order. And I'm going to continue meal prepping. Okay, so I just finished one round of meal preps. It is green beans, two dumplings, ground chicken with like sauce and stuff and rice at the bottom. And this is gonna be my lunches throughout the entire week. So I made five, so like Monday through Friday I'll have a lunch and now I'm going to go on to my next meal prep. So this week has completely gotten away from me. It is already, what day is it, Tuesday? And I meant to just make this a weekend vlog, like Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, but this is my first vlog, so I'm sorry it is literally all over the place. So I'm just gonna show you what I got from Sephora oh, and wrap up this vlog. And um, yeah, I think that is in order. I'm gonna wrap up this vlog, this was a great experience. First thing is first, 
I got the Pat McGrath Labs Skin Fetish in the shade medium. And this is the under eye setting powder. I got this because a lot of people said that it was great for um, putting all over your face. And I, my, I'm like really bad with um, setting powders. They like just don't work for me. So we're gonna try this baby out. Next, I got a couple things from Pharmacy. I've been really trying to get my skin health better. I was getting facials at one point, um, like a year or two ago, and it really helped my skin. And then I stopped going because they were getting a little bit expensive. So I wanted to start um, investing in my own skincare and making sure that I am having a nice flawless canvas before I put makeup on. So I got the Pharmacy Brightening Mask it is a coconut gel sheet mask, and then I got the hydrating one. So I got those to try out. I've been using the ordinary lactic, or not, yeah, the ordinary lactic acid and hyaluronic acid as my serums, but I found this one from Pharmacy. Um, it's called the Honeymoon Glow AHA Resurfacing Night Serum. And I just kind of wanted to like simplify my skincare routine a little bit. I don't mind adding in like extras like masks, but for my everyday, I need something a little bit more um, streamlined. So I got this to take place of both of those serums. Next, I got this Blonde Ale Vibrance Boosting Brightening Powder from Dry Bar. This is supposed to act as kind of like a brightening treatment. Um, I talked to my hairdresser and she said that this might strip out my toner but I have a problem with my toner coming out of my hair so fast. Like I left the hair salon and my hair was like gray and now it's like the perfect shade, but I have a feeling in like a couple of weeks, not even, in like a week it's gonna be like yellow. So I wanna do a preventative treatment with this and um, see if it works. I mean, worst case scenario, I just ride it out until the next time I see my hairdresser, but I figured I'd give it a shot. Next, I got this Deep Clean Detox Deep Cleaning Brush and Sponge Shampoo from Sephora. I've tried so many different like brush cleansing and like different like hacks and everything. And I find that the Sephora one and the Beauty Blender one work the absolute best for cleaning brushes and sponges. This one's more affordable than the Beauty Blender one. So I just picked that one up. Next, I got two products from Hourglass. I got the Ambient Lighting Bronzer and the Ambient Lighting Blush. I got the blush in the shade Dim Infusion and the bronzer in the shade Nude Bronze Light. So I'll show you the blush. And I made a blog post on my 27th birthday and what I picked up at Sephora, so I will link that below. And if you hear any like noise they're doing the yard outside and neighbors just moved in upstairs so i'm so sorry if there's like so much background noise and i think buddy's crying because he misses his dad so anyway <laughs> here's the blush so pretty all right next i got the fenty beauty sponge i love the beauty blender but it's a little bit pricey and this one's a little bit cheaper so i get the fenty beauty one um I also, so the last three things, I got this Peace Out Retinol Eye Stick. Um, this is like new and I don't have any eye creams or anything for my eyes and I am now a 27 year old lady. So I need something for my eyes. So I got this, it's just, it's like taped right now, but it's just a little stick that I can run under my eyes. I was looking into the Tula Brightening Stick, but I've heard mixed reviews. Some people love it and some people hate it but this is a new product, so I figured I'd give it a try. And then the last two things are from Velour. I got the, this is the Fluffin Brow Pencil, three-in-one brow pencil and balm. I have no idea what the balm is supposed to do, I'm gonna be completely honest with you, but I got it because the ingredients looked great and my brow pencil from PYT is, um, it's getting clumpy for some reason. I think because I've had it for a while and I'm like nearing the end of it, so I got this just to like replace it. And then I also got the Lash & Go Eyeliner and Lash Adhesive Hybrid. So basically you put this on as an eyeliner and you should be able to just stick lashes on top of it. I've been wanting to try lashes because I don't really wear them a lot. I want to give this a go. But all right, that is all I got from my Sephora haul. I hope you guys have an amazing week. Thank you for hanging in there. If you watched the entire video, it means so much to me because I look at my analytics and... 
I just love when I see that people are like watching my videos all the way through. I don't know. I know it's hard to like devote your attention to one video, especially when there's so much going on in the world. So thank you for spending your time to watch me. I really appreciate it. But all right, I'm going to end this vlog. I have to get some actual work done and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.